Hey guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This one is going to be about uh, some basic features of Scratch. Um, first thing I want to do is we want to name this. So uh, first we want to do, let's get rid of Scratchy. We don't need him. So let's come down to the sprites area, click on the little garbage can, get rid of him. Uh, we are, however, going to bring in a new sprite. So let's go down to the choose a sprite button. We'll click on choose a sprite. Let's go to animals and let's choose dog number two, this blue dog right here. All right. Now, what we're going to do next with uh, this blue dog is we are going to, well, let's drag out a little code. We're going to make him walk a bit. Okay. Uh, so we'll do move 10 steps, then we'll bring out a control. Go to the control button, bring out a forever loop. And let's see what that does. All right, so that makes uh, our dog walk until he hits the wall. Now, in order to prevent him from just running into the wall and not moving after that, let's find uh, go back to the motions buttons, commands, and we're going to find if on edge bounce, and we'll snap that into our loop. And now watch what happens. He just goes back and forth. But notice he's doing that funny upside down thing when he comes back. Now, if you come over to direction and you click on that button right there, Let's see the direction he's going in. What we want is left and right. There we go. So left and right makes it so that he only faces left or right. He doesn't rotate. Okay. Click away from that. Okay, so next we're going to uh, add some code that makes it look like the dog is actually walking, makes it look like his legs move, because as it is right now, he just looks like, he looks like he's sliding back and forth. So what we're gonna do is go over to looks, click on the looks button, and let's come down, let's find next costume. And then let's go to control and let's find a weight command, okay? And I think that one second is gonna be way too long, so let's do point three, see what that does. And what we'll do is we will snap this inside the loop. <laughs> it looks like he's stopping to think every other second. You know what else we want to do? So um, we let's bring up, let's go to events and let's let's throw on a when green flag click. That way we can stop it and start it easily just by clicking the green button. So let's check out his costumes. Let's stop things. Let's go to costumes. And notice that our dog here has three different costumes and one of them just doesn't seem to fit with what we're doing. He's stopping and thinking too much. So let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of the stop and think. Okay. So now when we make him walk, it'll look a little more natural. Okay. Basically, these are obviously, these are two identical pictures of the dog, except in this picture, the one on top, dog 2A, he has his left front paw forward. And then on this one, he has his right front paw forward. So when you go back and forth, it just looks like he's walking. Okay, so now let's run that code and see what it does. It's kind of slow. Let's see, let's make that a little faster. Let me make that, I'm gonna try it, make it point one, see what happens. There we go. Now he's moving. That's a little more natural. All right. Our dog is walking. Okay, so to uh, to help us make the dog look a little bit more realistic, let's let's try to add 
some wag to his tail. So I'm going to stop this. Let's go back to the costumes. And I just want to point something out. Currently, there's a button that says convert to bitmap. Now, bitmap is a type of image, okay? And here are the controls. Uh, well, the reason why it says convert to bitmap is because currently it is not a bitmap. Currently, it's what's called a vector image. And I'm not going to get into that. Um, you can find out more about that if you look it up. But basically what a vector image does is it allows you to keep the same resolution of a, of a graphic when you change its size. So fortunately, the little fix that we want to do it isn't going to work um, in vector mode. So we're going to have to convert it to vector mode. Now we have to do this for both of them. Okay, so I'm going to click convert to vector mode. And you might, let, you might have noticed that bitmap is not as clear as vector mode. So here's bitmap in the first one, here's vector mode in the other one. So we're gonna lose a little bit of clarity, but that's okay. For what we wanna do, it'll still work, okay? So make sure that you convert both of the dog's costumes to um, bit, bitmap by clicking on that button that was there. So I've done that to both of them. Then after you're done with that, come back down to the second one, second costume. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna form a little surgery on our dog's tail. So I'm gonna click on this button right here, the select. And this takes a little practice to get this right. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. So I'm just gonna drag this out right here. And then I'm gonna click and I'm gonna say flip vertical. So it just flipped that area vertically. And now I'm gonna reattach this as naturally as possible. There are little remedies that you can do if it doesn't look natural. So click away. Oh, and there, that doesn't look completely natural. So, cause I'm, I, I'm, I'm missing. So what I, I suppose I could do is I could select it again, but sometimes that leads to its own set of problems. Um, <laughs> so what maybe I can do is I can use the bucket tool to fill in a little and the paint tool, the paintbrush tool to fill in a little, a little bit. Okay, so let's use the faint paintbrush to fill in a little right here. Uh, so I clicked on paintbrush and 10 is gonna be too big. Let's try five, that's a little better. And obviously purple's the wrong color. So I'm gonna click this arrow. I'm gonna come down to the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna say, you know what? I want the black, I want this exact black. So I'm gonna click on that and that's the color it gives me. And then I can use that tool to sort of paint in a little bit where I messed up the tail. Now we've got to do the same for the, the, the blue area. So I'm at this time, I'm going to come down to bucket. I'm going to come up to fill again. I'm going to click on the arrow. I'm going to go to eyedropper tool and I'm going to select just somewhere on his fur. And then I'm going to go away from that. And I'm just going to click right on the white spot. Try to anyway such a sliver that I suppose I could um, easily just draw it in with a paintbrush and you know, just do that. There you go. So that kind of works. All right, so now we've got our dog looking like he has a tail wax. So, before we leave this, let's convert it back to vector. Unfortunately, we don't get our great resolution back. Convert them both back to vector. Okay, now let's go back to the code. So now when we click on the green flag, our dog's tail is wagging. Okay.